Hi guys, so I do have a few things to continue reviewing that have come in that are auto ships, like one of them being the um, layering stamps auto ship. And I think um, when I first had ordered this, it was called, uh, from Crafts and Pain, it was called like Nature Layering Stamp Sets or something. But this is the one for this time around. So I was, I've been waiting for this one because it's a teacup. I think it's adorable. And I want to make a video to show you just how to make a shape card with this same teacup. And I know she has other teacup um, dies that are coming out with another auto ship, what was it? Oh, with the shaped dress one that I had done. But, uh, so I'll show you that. And then it also came with this cute one, which I always thought was adorable. The, um, uh, kind of like a little circular flower, not really wreath, but just like a little design thing. So I thought it was cute. So those came together, but we'll do that soon. Uh, I have recently reviewed a lot of Ina Griffin things. If you haven't checked them out, um, please do. I know I'm gonna launch, launch this. I'm gonna go ahead and upload this today on craft day, H sense uh, craft day on the 28th. But um, a lot of people chose to get this little uh, perfect floral pop-up die after they saw the video. And then these are some of the other things that uh, she featured. I don't know if they're sold out yet, but the Valentine stickers are actually $17.95 today um, with this one too uh, on HSN. And then that um, other one is the concentric frames. It said it was called lovely concentric frames, but that's not what they're calling it now. So it, you can just look it up by like Anna Griffin concentric frames. I mean, this video, um, sorry, I'm a little bit under the weather because my daughter got me a little bit under the weather. <laughs> so we were just talking about that. There's like a cough and cold and uh, fever thing going around. It was really a cough and a fever, but um, I don't have those symptoms yet, but I'm not feeling that great. But anyhow, this is the Lily Collection from Crafter's Companion. The only reason I mentioned that is because maybe my voice sounds different to you guys. But anyhow, um, so I already went through everything that's in here in the haul, but it's the uh, 3D embossing folder, which is lovely. A classic script uh, stamp, um, some sentiment stamps. There's ornate frame in a corner, um, dies. And you know, it's from the Nature's Garden collection, but it's the Lily collection of that, the subset, I guess, of that collection. Um, we have some little uh, butterflies. It says fancy butterflies, lace border. Today, I want to focus on this Cat Lily stem and Beautiful Lily's stamp and die sets. And um, there's also, with love and congratulations, some words that you can cut out. Now, I had mentioned in the first video, I'm like, oh, I didn't, because it came with floral foam, and I'm like, oh, I don't remember Sarah using this, because she quickly went over it in one of her previews for the HSN shows. But, um, so I went back to see a little bit about the calla lilies, and that's when she used this. So I'm like, oh, okay, cool. So basically, I don't know if you can see this. I was like, that looks thicker than paper, but you know, whatever. And it didn't even occur to me, like, duh, it's <laughs> the flower foam. Um, and she just used her heating tool to heat it up. So I'm like, hey, sounds good to me. I do have a little craft iron I like to use for that, but I'll do that. Um, and then she just used the white, but maybe I'll go ahead and stamp it and ink it up. I don't know. I don't even know if this is flower foam, to be honest. This might be paper that's just thick. I don't know. So we'll do a little something different with it. So we'll use the foam. And, um, and then it comes with, uh, of course, the paper pad, which um, they just said all this stuff. Oh, wait. No, they weren't talking about this one. I don't know when this, if, or when this will launch on um, Crafters Companion UK, which is, or their website basically, so we can just buy the paper pad. But I know the um, Crafty Fun collection right now is still $249 for the mega kit. And I'm like, that is just, I'm sorry. And you, know, you guys know I like to collect and I'll spend lots of monies, but um, 250 I was like, that's crazy. And a lot of times they reduce the price. Well, what happens is actually with the mega bundles, they don't end up reducing the price because people buy it out before they even present it on HSN. So there's no reason to change the price, right? Or to do anything with that. Right now, it's still on there. It says extended delivery, but it's said extended delivery since they launched it yesterday. They put it on the site yesterday. So sometimes they do that when they kind of want to just hold it back so that people don't just buy everything up. But the smaller kit is 80 bucks and it's supposedly originally 100 and they marked it down to 79. So I don't know, but that one I do know they are gonna launch on uh, their site on the 28th. I'm sorry, today's the 28th. On the 2nd, yeah, February 2nd or February 3rd. I can't remember if it's 2nd or 3rd right now, but very beginning of February. So I'm thinking maybe I'll just wait and buy and just pick out the things I like, you know, um, which is basically all the die sets and the stamps that go with that uh, crafty fun and get my 20% off my platinum discount. And I think I might be better off. So I'll play it by ear. We'll see if it's still there later today and, and the price is good. Maybe I'll go ahead and buy the whole shebang kit, but I don't know. That was a little bit much. And I'm surprised, I'm not surprised that it hasn't sold out because of that. Usually they're like $200 and people sell it out, but $250, I was like, wow, that's, eesh, that's a lot of money. All right, so we have these guys. I'm going to bring out alcohol ink. Let me think. Alcohol proof. I'm trying to think if I 
how I want to do this. Um, okay, let me grab some stuff. I thought, oh, I'll just be ready to, sometimes I do a video in one shot because I have everything out, but uh, apparently I didn't think about it too well. So let's do some of this foam. I'm going to use this little piece in the front for the cow lily. It already has some color to it, obviously. Or maybe at that point it's not going to be a cow lily anymore. Um, I don't know what I want to do. Because I also want to use... I'm just going to pull out all these colors of the foam. Uh, I'm trying to think. If I ink them up like this, like just give it some, some distressing, like with some fuchsia like this, and then some yellow, kind of like what they're doing. Um, this is funny. This has a little something on it, but you know what? We'll use it. We'll use it with the yellow. So let me grab some colors. Um, at, and maybe I'll just use the white foam and this green part that's I'm like because eh, the stamp is kind of an outline and so I think we'll use white paper and then we'll just have to really ink it up to uh, make it work so let me get some okay, so stuff I'm gonna use honey pot and fuchsia I'm gonna put those to the side right now I'm just trying to think as far as alcohol proof dye if I'm gonna you know distress it and that's kind of water reactive I wonder if I need to use my waterproof finesse but it fell the other day and um in the land of the lost here I <laughs> I fell under here and I'm like, there's no way I'm going to ever find that because I don't want to bring all these things out. So uh, I might have to find something else. Maybe Versafine. Yeah, Versafine would work. Okay. Um, okay, so this is just some of their stamping card. Just little scraps that I keep because obviously I cut some pieces off that. So what we want to do is... Now they always do some funny stuff with Crafts and Pain as far as the way they either stamp or then cut something because sometimes they will... Um, stamp it then cut it out or cut it out and then line up their stamp over it so like it's kind of hard for me to tell what I want to do with this you know I don't know if I'd be able to line it up but you think you would be because it's pretty right in there I'm gonna stamp it and then cut it and we'll see what happens and I'm gonna use VersaFine just in case because when I use the ink I don't want it to spread out everywhere but if you read on the back of verse when you wonder and i've already done a video about this like um if it'll work well with different things it tells you on the back here resists water perfect for outline image and water coloring and then you know it has other little information but that's what you want to know so it's kind of a i don't know if it's oil based or whatever they want to call it ink um let me get a this thing <laughs> has something stuck on it i just need a longer little guy here Oh my gosh, you guys, I forgot to mention, oh, maybe I did talk about it. Did you know? I didn't know, because Diamond Press, they didn't tell me how much this uh, kit, the little binder kit, was going to be. And apparently it's a surprise to them, too, <laughs> I guess, um, what HSN decides to sell it for. And uh, my contact's like, did you see that it was $34.95? I'm like, no, I've been stocking the page all day, but I haven't seen that they released it. And sure enough, I went over there, I was like, that is crazy. So a lot of you guys already picked it up. and So I'm just going to make one, obviously, because this is how I do things. But I'm going to try this out. And then we also need to stamp out, oh, this is paper. Okay, I'm gonna stamp that on the foam. So let's go ahead and cut this out. I think that's the only thing I'm gonna cut on paper for right now for the moment. Um, and I'm just gonna trim this down, turn on my Gemini. I guess I could run this through the um, Empress too, but I already turned the Gemini on, so that's it, that's done. We've already decided. All right, so let me close up a little bit just to show you. Basically, I'm gonna try to get this in here and hope that that works that's kind of funny huh i mean that looks pretty good but i don't know i mean it could be a little more this way it could be a little more that way it's right there i don't know we will see the thing with this too it's because we just stress and do so much stuff unless someone's really like gonna scrutinize it, i think we're okay you can just do it like this and you'll be fine all right I'm just doing one thing at a time just so I don't make a mess. So uh, base plate, Gemini, and then I'm going to put the um, plastic and magnetic mat over that. And then the other plate. Sorry, I'm going to reach across like this. All you see is my arm. Just want to make sure it doesn't fall off the back of my table here. Where'd it go? There it is. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. I mean, you know what I'm saying? This is actually much better than I thought I was going to hit. And then I barely missed that bottom. So I kind of could have brought it up a little bit better. But that's not bad. So let's keep this to the side. And put this back. 
Oopsie. How is this? What? Why? This is so hard for me to tell the design on that. And then we have our stamp. I'll put that back in a minute. Um, okay, so this is to make the calla lily. And you only need one of these guys, so we need, we're going to bring out this. I'm just going to do the cutting now, and all we do is the distressing all that in just a minute. And um, I kind of want to go ahead and ink him up with the lines, right? Because you don't have to. She did... Okay, I'll do two. I'll do one just cut out, and then I'll do one with the lines in it so you can see the difference. Now, let me look at their picture because there's three different... Actually, they have four different things on here, which I didn't realize. There's uh, this that looks like a little flower, right? This looks more like a leaf veining. This is also a leaf veining, but it's more if you want to like stamp it in green. And this is more like the veins themselves. So I don't know if they layer up, maybe. Um, I, I don't... Well, that'd be interesting to figure that out. But I would just stamp that like on a green piece of paper or whatever. Or do what I'm going to do right now when I go and color it in. And then these two are just kind of striped a lot. And the one they used on this calla lily is the one that has a bunch of striping like this one. So I will do that. So we're going to need this stamp and we're going to need the larger die. Now you can make them all different sizes. The, she even has the different sizes of the stems. Look at, even for the little guy. The little tiny guy has a little stem that is so cute. Uh, that one's going to be a little difficult to manipulate, I have a feeling, but okay. So I'm going to use floral foam. I'm just going to use the white foam, even though I thought I was going to use the peach one, but and I don't like to waste this stuff, so I'm just going to cut it. Oy. Probably like this much. You only need one for each flower, obviously, for the calla lily. Ooh, I barely, barely missed it. So we want to make one just white. So I'm going to run that through. And since it's that foam, it pretty much sticks to it. I'm not going to tape it down. I think it has a good, a good grip. And then we're going to stamp one. And cut it out and see what happens. All right, so we have one that's just white. And then this one, um, let's get... And again, I'm going to use the VersaFine. And hopefully this isn't a horrible idea. We will see. <laughs> uh, I don't think this matters, but let's just do it this way. That feels good because the little foam just kind of like lets you push it in there real nice. All right, and then this time we're gonna line up our die, and this one's a little bit easier to see because you can see the inner parts of it. All right, I have a feeling this is not quite, that's okay. And, oopsie, oh, I was gonna knock some washi tape over over here. Um, again, you can tape that down. I'm just gonna set this down and hopefully it doesn't shift. Oh, UPS is showing up. I wonder if he's coming to my house. I have a feeling he is. Oh, you know what I'm expecting today? And hopefully that's what it is. It's the Crafter's Companion. Um, oh no, that's a lie. The Crafter's Companion box for this month is back ordered. It's on extended delivery for some reason. Um, it's the Crafter's Companion Compendium uh, auto ship number one. So it should be a bunch of dies. So hopefully, hopefully that's where he's going. I don't know. Oh, look, that's pretty good. All right. I don't know. <laughs> I was like, oh, look, like I'm super surprised. Um, okay, I don't want to misplace these things. I was just gonna put this down. And I'm like this. I'll never find it again. I Always like to call things planet of the lotus eaters or land of the lotus eaters or land of the lost here because forget it if I misplace it We'll never find it again. Okay, so I am going to put This way did he not show up here? Did he go in my neighbor's house only? Oh no, he's making a stop here too. He went to the neighbor and now he's pulling up in front of my house. Okay, I'm gonna move this because I want to do some distressing and I don't wanna have to mess up my beautiful little mat, pristine mat that we just got. So let me move this over. Okay, what are we doing first? I'm gonna leave this one white. So we'll see what it looks like, just white. I'll probably have to cut another one of these out just so we have something to put it on so it looks nice. So I'll probably do that in just a minute off camera. And we are going to do this guy, kind of like they have in the picture. So this is Honey Pot, and I'm just going to dip in there. This is the Water Reactive ink. I guess I could have just used the other kind, I don't know, um, the dry one. Ooh, that's not the prettiest yellow. I don't know why I thought it was going to be brighter. But let's get some fuchsia on there. 
especially around the little tips. And then I'm gonna turn it over and basically do the same thing and maybe in a different spot so I don't, just in case. I and mean, you could have um, stamped both sides just so that we would get more um, more detail on both sides, right? Because when you wrap it around, you might be able to see the back edge. But I'm gonna leave it like this. But it's basically a symmetrical thing. So I mean, if you wanna stamp the other side, it's gonna be exactly the same, okay? So that's that one, that was easy. Um, let me get some green colors. I don't know why I didn't choose those. And in that meantime, I'll also cut out another stamen or Okay, well my favorite delivery guy bought me four boxes. I was like, four boxes, but one of them um, was Christmas gifts from my sister who we didn't get to see, and I guess she just got them in the mail, which is nice. Um, so that'll be fun for the kids. But yes, I did get the <laughs> auto delivery for the crafters compendium, which means I'm probably gonna have to go to my other, well, we'll see. Sometimes when it's something big, the box is not big, um, but the first compendium box is huge, so whenever I do something like that, I go to my dining room table, but we'll see. So I was just thinking, I'm like, oh, now I need more of these guys, you know, for the green, but I forgot I just got this from AliExpress. Too bad it was kind of broken when it showed up. And part of the reason, you know, I paid for the box, basically, it costs a little more to have it in the box, but, um, eh, I mean, it's totally busted. I didn't feel like complaining about that, so I was like, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so we're gonna use some dabbers here. I have grasshopper which I believe is kind of a darkish green, I don't know. And I'm just gonna come in and just give this some color. Try to really get around the edges the most. And you can obviously do a variation of colors. You wanna use a few different greens to make it pop even more, but I'm just gonna stick. So I got color all over, but I'm gonna do a little more on the edges. And then kind of fading up to this part, because that part should be you know, yellowish is what they're using. So I'm gonna get in here and get that yellow on there. Cute. All right, there we go. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this, the second one. Where is it? Here we go. Um, again, just laying down color and then just really coming in around the edges. Ah. So what are you guys picking up? I know we've already talked a little bit about it in some of the other videos that I've released. But um, I think it was a couple craft days ago. Was it the last one or two times ago? I don't know. It wasn't too, like, eh. It wasn't the the normal break the bank craft day like I normally like, right? So which is good, I guess. Give us a little break. All right, let me see. So we have our two centers here. And these guys. So. All she did was literally, oh, <laughs> the heat tool, right? We need some heat to give it a little bend. So like I said, she used her heat gun, which, oh, I'll grab the, I have two heat guns on my desk, but one's like really hidden, a Doris one, and then I have the Crafter's Companion one here. So I'm going to hook this into my extension cord. Oh, no wonder. I was like, why is this? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I turned one of my lights out. Okay, so she just heated up with this thing and she held it down with a pokey tool, which I have a ton of them here because they're always like a dollar or two on their site. So sometimes they come with kits, you know, with everything. So there's that. So I'm going to move all these guys out of the way. Put that away later. Um, just kind of, hopefully you can see this. Hold it with my pokey tool. And let's turn this heat gun on high. I've never done this with a heat gun. Okay. Let's see what happens. There it goes. It's already starting to bend a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. Look at that. Cute. And while it's still hot, I guess you could use your tools, but I'm just kind of making sure it's curved a little bit. And then she just wrapped it around one of the stamens here and kind of glued it down. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try to spread this out a little bit at the end here. It is too tight. So I'm kind of grab. this is very <laughs> persnickety here, guys. I have to, hopefully you can see that I've pulled it outwards. 
And if you don't like the way it looks, you can always hit it again with your heat tool or your iron, whatever it is that you're using. So basically right there, and then we need to put some glue. She used that super thick glue. I don't know what I want to use. Uh, I'm just going to use my crafty glue because it kind of sticks faster. I'm going to put a little bit in the back and a little bit in the front here. See what happens. <laughs> All right, let's bring one area up in front. And then the other one, that's what she's like, and just hold it for a little while. You're gonna have to hold it for a good little while. <laughs> that just stay on there. So I'm gonna keep holding this until it's dry, guys. Basically, I'm just pinching that that bottom there. Again, like I said, if you don't like the way it turned out, heat it again. Hit it with the heat gun again, and it'll just do what you want. Reshape it. But I'm gonna keep holding this until it dries a little bit better, and I can just kind of hold it down here. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of like pulling it, making it a little curve more. There you go. It isn't as close together at this base as I would like, but that's okay. I mean, I can show you. All right, so let's try the next one. And same thing. I'm just gonna... There we go. Starting to react. I guess it depends on how much you want to shrink it up. Where's the off on this thing? <laughs> it's right in the middle there. It kept like doing its own thing. Ooh, that got crusty really hard, really fast. So let me kind of pinch. I think that's a better form. Kind of pull the tip. And that way it'll be kind of curved in. And then this again, we want to stretch this out as much as we can to wrap it around there. That's probably a better stretch than I did last time. We were, my husband and I were talking about the learning curve because like sometimes we'll want to do a house project and I'm like, I don't know, because by the time we learn it, maybe we'll mess up the beginning, maybe we'll fix, you know, at the end it'll be good, but then we're never going to do it again because we just did whatever it was. Maybe it's better to just pay somebody <laughs> to do some of this, these things we want to do around the house. And um, so the learning curve on this one was a little better. You pull it tight at the top, it'll make a nicer little shape for you. And then we're going to put in our little glue here. This is super delicate. And put some more hair. And again, push one side in. My goodness. And then wrap the other side over and hold it until it's dry. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I think that's uh, pretty good. I just put them down to kind of dry. Um, I was debating, you know, doing more with in this video. I, I don't know. I think I'm going to leave it here because we can try some of the other things later, but um, it's pretty cute. I mean, they're different. I'll try to get as many close-up pictures as I can of these. But how pretty is that? I mean, I would do all white if I was going to do like a bunch of them or all of this other kind of coloring if I was going to do a different set because, well, sometimes it really depends, I guess, on the variety. They might have different colors, but usually it's because you put different bulbs in the ground, right? Um, so, Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, um, please leave them here. But other than that, um, I'm sure everything else cuts just fine. I mean, the papers are gorgeous. So that's kind of why I was like, should I just do a whole card? Or um, I might cut a few of the pieces of card just to go in the background. I don't know. We'll see. But thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you all at the next one. Bye now.